Destiny Returning Stories channel where today we're going to be doing my TBR Star Wars the the board game. We're, we're doing the, the TBR Star Wars board game. This the current standings are I might put something on the screen, but for now I'll just do this. So I am up here. I haven't even made it halfway through the board yet. And then all the way down there. Alrighty, so I suppose we will begin with saying what I finished last month, which, so, <laughs> last month was a bit of a weird month, so I, I've read so far, today is January, or not January, <laughs> today is February 23rd as I am filming this so I can get ready for March, but, um, I have read six books, but only one of them is on my TBR, so I read... My, my prompts for the month were to read a book over 500 pages. I definitely did that. Um, read a book without a or the in the title. Actually, that other book counts. So I did that one. Uh, read a hyped book. Um, I mean... I guess the other book I read would actually be for that. That would be fine. So that did happen. The crime thriller, I have not finished yet. So I guess I did finish three of the prompts. It just ended up being different books than I um, originally put on the TBR. The only one I have not finished is No Exit. So for 500 pages, I actually decided to use... I think it was one of the manga I read was really long. Um, it's called five centimeters per second, which is in Japan, that's what they say. Um, they say that's how fast a cherry blossom petal falls from the trees, five centimeters per second. So it's a really cute um, manga about these two kids who are both new at school and they become friends, but then they both move apart and, you know, the whole thing that comes with that and then meeting years later, it looks like, and Overall, it's just really cute. I love manga. I love that this one's just one really big chunky manga. And so then for a book without A or the in the title, another graphic novel. It's called Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Aaron Hicks. I'm looking at it from right over there. Um, so Faith did the, um, she did the drawings for the story and then Rainbow Rowell wrote the story for the book I guess so it's it's really cute too I just I love I think graphic novels really help push me a little bit further this month in the books that I'm reading like how many because like I said I read six books but <laughs> only a couple of them went on the TBR but um the pumpkin heads book was it's two kids I think they're like seniors in high school and it's a boy <laughs> and a girl it's their last day in the pumpkin patch for the season and for the rest of their lives, you know, working there because only teenagers can. And so this boy has had a crush on this girl that he's worked near but never spoken to before. So they go on this whole, like, chase of trying to find her. She keeps going to different stands and working over there, doing this, that, and the other. And so <laughs> eventually through all this, he finds her, talks to her but she doesn't seem she doesn't turn out to be anything like he thought she would be so actually what happens is him and the girl that he set off on the adventure with they actually kiss and then it's actually really adorable so that's a really cute book I read um and then the hyped book I don't know what I would say the hyped book is because Divergent was for last month so maybe I didn't finish that one uh I am reading Insurgent right now and a couple other books but um I guess I haven't done that one or crime thriller so hopefully by the end of this month I've finished it and I don't have to take any penalty rolls like I did last month because I didn't finish Every Breath or Divergent last month I finished them in the first week of February so that's why I'm so far back on the board is because I had to take two penalty rolls which is rolling the d6 once and going back that many spaces rolling it again going back that many spaces so while I've read six books this month I still have to take penalty rolls if I don't finish the ones that are on the TBR or a book that I can fit to that prompt other than the book that I put there. So that is an update on all of that. Um, now we're going to get into rolling for 
I almost broke the glass that they're in. So we're gonna get into rolling for March, which I will put my little, I always have a little turtle I put on there. This is my little turtle dude. See if I can, there we go, now you can see him. Look at him, he's so cute. So he's gonna go on the board and we're gonna roll. I got a four, that's a good start. And there are no colors on the tile, so I will just pick a prompt. And this one says, an author you want to meet. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go, that'll probably be good enough. Okay, so, huh. We'll come back to that. We'll roll all this stuff and then we'll choose the books afterwards. So I got a three, one, two, three. Back to where I started last month or where I ended last month because I took the two penalty rolls. So where I ended up last month, which was one space right after the blue, which I was so upset about because I was like, oh, I could have moved three more spaces. Darn. <laughs> All right. So there are no colors on that space. So I will take a pawn. If I can get in here. And then... There we go. Let's see what this one says. This one says contemporary. Here, let me go to Wait, no. Oh. There we go. Contemporary. <laughs> That's going to be hard because I don't really own a lot of contemporaries. I really just love fantasy, fantasy romance, dystopian. I mean, you can see from my, my selection of books here. Um, yeah, those are the kind of <laughs> books I like to read. Um, okay, so let's roll again. We got a five. <sighs> Once again, one space right after the blue. Oh my goodness. Okay, so no colors. We'll pick a prompt here. This one, whatever this is. A top 10 read of the year is what this one says. And I would probably say like my top 10 list of books I want to read would be where that would come from. Um, I guess I'll have to look at my list and see what I have for books I want to read. All right. And our last one is a six. All right. That is a six. And there are no colors on that. So we will take one more prompt. This one. Oh. This one's printed a little weird, but it says a book that I'm scared to start. Um, hmm. We will have to see what books I have on my shelf that I'm scared to start, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, let me write down where I stopped. We will pause this for now. Okay, I am back and I've chosen my books for March. So uh, we'll just go through what I chose, which is the first one. Two of them are library books, two of them are off my um, own shelf, which I'm trying to finish all these books, but I did have some books from the library I did want to squeeze in. So the first one is a library book. This one is for author you want to meet. It is for a Divergent Collection, which it just tells you more about this character and like his backstory. Because actually, I was reading some of the stuff about this and this is what she started with when she was writing the Divergent series, but she didn't feel that it was correct to start it from his point of view. So then she did it from um, Beatrice's point of view. So this is just like some extra bonus stuff here, and I'm very excited to read it. Um, I may or may not have read a couple pages already because I'm so excited for it. So that one is for author you want to meet. For contemporary, I don't... I don't know that I have any contemporary books, but this one seems kind of like one. I might be wrong, but I feel like this is probably contemporary. Um, yeah, I really feel like this probably is. So this one is from a book box I got um, earlier this year, actually. Um, actually, no, I think this one might have been the December edition of Scribbler, which the book was uh, The Skylark's Secret by Fiona Falke. Um, so this one is about a girl in like the 1940s, so World War II and stuff, and um, she just learns more about her past and like all the things that are like, you know, going on with all that and more about her parents and stuff like that. And I mean, I don't know. I, I don't read contemporary, so we'll see how this book goes, but um, definitely still excited to read it because it's one from 
the few that I have here now from my book boxes that I'm glad I'm finally able to fit one into my TBR. Um, so that one was for contemporary. The next one is top 10 read of the year, which I always say that these books or these TBRs are um, up to me, like up to my interpretation. So for this one, since it's not like the end of the year, middle of the year or anything, um, I don't really have a top 10 books thing so far. Um, it's my top 10 books I want to read this year, which actually is my top 21, but we'll take, we'll take the top 10. So, um, by Brandon, Brandon Sanderson, it's Skyward. This is also a library book. Um, I've been wanting to read this one ever since I heard about it at the end of last year. So, oh, what is this about? I don't even know what this book's about. I just, the cover just looked really pretty and people have reviewed it before and I thought it was a great one for top 10 read of the year. It's a very big book though, so I don't know that I'm going to get to finish it. Kind of like a lot of my books that are over there right now. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we'll say five books that I need to read by the end of the month. Today's the 23rd. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And then the other two are library books. But the one that I chose for a book I'm scared to read is Water for Elephants. I've seen the movie, the one with Robert Pattinson. Uh, very depressing. I'm probably going to cry reading this book, so I was kind of scared to read it because I didn't want to be really sad about it. But um, definitely still pretty excited to read it. So um, yeah, that is for a book I'm scared to start. But I think it's still going to be a really good book anyways. Like, the cover's really pretty too. Like, ooh, very nice, very nice. So these show you the stack now these are the books i plan to read for um march hopefully i do get to finish these and maybe i'll do what i did last month and um read a couple other books too because like i said i've read six books this month and i believe two of them are from my tbr the other two i have not finished and uh we'll see what happens i will update you guys on if i have to do any penalty rolls next month and i'll see you in the next video bye